hey what's up guys welcome back let's get into it so today i'm going to be giving you tips and tricks just showing you how i clear and shop how i look for deals i always look on the end caps um this is my favorite almost to look on the end caps a lot of times they don't pay any attention to it um it sits here and it just clearance all the way down so this is normally 64 dollars um right here so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna scan it and i'm gonna see how much it is online and i'm gonna see how much i'm gonna scan the tag the 64 dollar tag just to make sure that they didn't just put it in you know they just didn't change the tag so i want to make sure it really was 64 dollars so give me one second y'all all right so it's fifteen dollars, y'all. This right here, the crafts is fifteen dollars, and it's just a little um, pins and stuff. But let me scan this up here just to make sure that this is the right thing. Okay, so fifteen dollars. So it was sixty-four dollars. They probably totally forgot about it, and it's just dropping. I mean, I would probably say it might go even go to five you know you never know so always check the end caps here's the barcode y'all just scan it um let me know in the comments how much it is don't forget to hit the like button it helps me out and i really really appreciate it all right so i am looking up here i see something that i'm very interested in um this was thirty dollars it is eleven fifty four so I just kind of scan these yellow tags because you can scan them okay and I'll just see what it is and this is exactly what I want it is the chair the spa so I'm looking up here and this is exactly what it is so this is the spa so a lot of times all you have to do is scan the yellow stickers right here if you see something super cheap you want to know what it is because a lot of times it's not in this correct spot especially when you have a huge sale on toys and things like that always look at the top shelf and down below all right this right here is a hundred dollars here however it's like a smart sleep um what is it like a lamp or something but it says smart sleep but anyway it was almost two hundred dollars and it's a hundred dollars at this location you never know go ahead and scan and see how much it is at your location because it could be cheaper at your store another tip miles may vary all right y'all look at this right here i actually y'all this has been on clearance at other locations for a while now and it's just now hitting clearance here so it's two hundred dollars so it's saving 79 dollars if this was maybe like anywhere from 50 to maybe 75 i definitely would grab it but i'm curious let me know how much it is at your store knowing that this has been on clearance for a while like months okay so it's just now hitting my location and just like i just said miles may vary every store is different your store could be better all right, y'all, so let me just show y'all what I have in my cart. Um, we do family day at my house. So I like to play. We might do like games. We might do movie night, things like that. So I have this in my cart. This is a uh, Pictionary Kids versus Grown Ups. Y'all, this is going to be so much fun. Um, it's like $4 and some change. I went on and grabbed this um, off the clearance aisle. It finally went down to $7.50. And y'all, it's a long time coming. Now, this right here um it's like a fake food i don't know who these people are but i'm pretty sure my kids know it is like five dollars i do believe from like 20 or 25 dollars maybe even a little more but they have tons and tons of games on clearance um i even saw a few games for like two dollars and some change that were normally like 15 dollars like that so some of the monopoly games uh here's some 476 but i'm just gonna really just pick out a few games so i can um add them to our family night when we do game night and it's just so much fun just to laugh enjoy your children have fun play games and i just know that the pictionary is going to be awesome let's see i'm just trying to see what else they have i know they have some puzzles my kids love puzzles um, if you can find those big uh, Melissa and Doug puzzles, they're only $2 at certain locations. Okay, so again, over here, I'm actually looking for my nephew um, something for his birthday. So what I'll do, if I do find some stuff that I'm interested in, I always like, I'll scan the yellow stickers because stuff is everywhere. Like this store is really disorganized. So this is something that I will probably get him. Um, 
or this you know it's way at the top these um items are way at the top and you never know because uh, a lot of people don't think to look at the top so i'm gonna scan this 374 because i'm interested in what it is i know i can read it right here but i want to see um so hold on y'all it is okay so it's these little animals uh adventure forest jumbo bucket farm animals so if i now i know what i'm looking for for three dollars and 74 cent and that is something that he would like so i use this technique a lot just because um stuff is always out of place and that's how i find a lot of stuff like believe it or not and also like if something is out of place you walk back past something and it's out of place and you know it doesn't belong i always scan that as well you never know if it was something clearance and the person just changed their minds all right y'all so i am over here and this walmart right here is so freaking organized like i love when i go to a well-organized uh walmart so here's a lot of their toys and they're as low as 50 cents here um i know we've been talking a lot a lot a lot about toys but you know that's okay because it's every store uh clearance at different times so it's fine 25 cents for these right here um a lot of these 25 cent toys and 50 cent toys are actually good for stocking stuffers for christmas we can start you know looking uh in the future and getting this stuff for christmas or even birthdays for this year if the birthday already passed you definitely can go ahead and get it for next year that's what i do and i put it up a lot of people ask how do you hide it hmm, don't i mean i put it in like um i put it up but if they you know actually these kids are going to be kids um and i know you're thinking what's the surprise i mean the surprise is actually playing with the toy so if they do accidentally see something before ahead of time i'm I, whatever it's just not a big deal to me because once they open it and play with it what's what fun is it looking at the toy and you can't play with it so they're still going to be excited that's how i look at everything but i think i'm just going to because i'm still looking for my nephew something um the last walmart i was in i did not find anything so i think what i'm gonna do um if you're not in the uh, facebook group bargain shopping with tj you definitely want to head over there all right so they have a lot of these cups uh, bowls and things but i will say these right here i actually bought these for two dollars no 250 250 at a different location so um that's just to go piggyback off of what i said you always want to check your uh different locations so basically if when, once you scan it y'all a lot of these are on clearance once you scan it check different locations change your location if it's close to you and i find a lot of clearance that way too and things will be cheaper okay so that just goes back to what i just said as far as this doll we know clearly doesn't belong over here right so i'm gonna pick it up and it makes me curious anytime i see things out of place it makes me very curious and it's actually eight dollars eighteen dollars and 66 cents um so i'm gonna think it's a clearance price online is 24.99 so this is definitely gonna be one of those toys that might drop to five dollars uh any day now you know you just never know so i always always if it's out of place i scan it because i'm just a curious person like that and then that's just what it is so y'all i'm gonna get out of here i hope these tips and tricks was found you found it helpful till next time peace out